feel so grateful and proud to be standing here today, marrying someone so beautiful inside and out. Since we've been together, you've shown me that two people who are joined with trust, respect, open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You have continuously encouraged me to face challenges head on and never be afraid to take a chance by always, be, by always giving me your unwavering support. You've been by my side through times of joy and my rock through times of sorrow. I don't know where I'd be without you. I promise to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally. I promise to make you laugh when you're taking yourself too seriously. I promise to be loyal, faithful, and to put you before all else. And because words cannot do it, I promise to show you for the rest of our lives how much I love you. For as long as my heart is beating, it's yours. I want to start out by congratulating the bride and groom. Amber, Eric, I love you both so much and I am so excited to see what the future holds in store for you. Originally, I planned on keeping my speech very short and sweet, far too emotional and awful at public speaking. But when I had mentioned to Amber that I can't even write the speech without crying, she said, and I quote, yeah, give me that sentimental-ish. <laughs> what the bride wants, the bride gets. Remember that, Eric. As most of you know, I'm Amber's cousin, Kelly. Amber and I grew up very closely together, more like sisters than cousins. We share so many amazing memories together. Tons of laughter and some tears. Amber is a light in the dark. She is the purest, most kind-hearted person I know. And I am so blessed to call her my best friend. See? <laughs> this is what I meant. Almost nine years ago, I asked Amber to stand beside me at my wedding. But she had recently started seeing this boy and didn't want to leave him sitting with our family all night. I understood. Don't worry, Burr, I won't mention anything else about that night or those Jolly Rancher drinks. <laughs> but I will say that boy was a complete gentleman. Fast forward and here I am, so honored to stand beside my baby cousin, marrying that boy she didn't want to leave sitting with our family. And now he's part of it. Welcome to the family, Eric. From the first time I set my eyes on you I didn't know from the start I didn't know how you turned my life around Or how in love I'd be with who you are 
but you showed me what it means to be loved. The way you touch me, hold me quietly, you're everything I am not. And when I have you in my arms, I feel undone. So in a long way, I've come to say I love you. seeing how she was pushing around a fellow student. I thought about this and decided to intervene, not wanting a bullish daughter. So I said to her, Amber, you shouldn't be pushing people around. She looked at me and replied, Dad, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> That's my Amber. <laughs> Those two are like uh, two puzzle pieces. They fit perfectly together. If I had to lose my best friend to anyone, I'm glad it's Amber. <laughs> I'm so happy it's her that she's the that she's taking my best man away from me. I consider her my sister now. The last thing I'd like to say is, uh, you two lovebirds have helped me out so much over the years. <clears throat> You're always there for me. I can always count on you guys. <laughs> Glad to be part of this, especially for you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, let's just toast. Have a little toast for these guys. <laughs> 